Hello, all of you awesome, intuitive, and amazing healers. Um, the topic for today is about emotions, and that is where you hold emotions, where you get uh, buried emotions, and how you deal with these emotions. And I have a few really great tips for you. Uh, please stay tuned to hear more. This is Anastasia. I used to be a physics professor specializing in vibrational and quantum physics. After recovering from a serious illness using energy healing on myself, the calling to heal became so strong that I had to quit my 40-year research career. I replaced my six-figure professor salary within five months using a simple but not easy three-step system that I worked out to grow my healing practice. Now I help other healers grow their practices, whether they're just starting or already have a practice with this same three-step system. I'm all about helping you to listen in to learn more. Thank you so much for coming back again. And like I mentioned, today's topics is all about your emotions. So good or high energy or low energy, good or bad, or however you want to define emotions, they're all there for a purpose. Uh, one of the emotions that I had a lot of trouble with was anger. I didn't want to feel the anger. I didn't want to be angry. I didn't want angry people around me and all of that. And then I recognized that having anger was really, really important. And the reason why it's really important is it lets you know when your boundaries have been crossed or when they have been stepped on. And I then started to recognize that it was okay to feel angry, but I could let it go really, really quickly once I recognized why I had it. So I'm going to tell you where they came from and then what to do. So first of all, if you have a buried emotion and you can tell that you've got one is if you are triggered by an event that's the triggering is way beyond what you would normally feel for something. For example, if somebody says to you, I really don't like that color on you. And most people would go, meh. <laughs> right? But if it really gets you upset, like way beyond that event, then it usually means that there's a trigger buried somewhere in there. And that trigger is from a buried emotion. You could be feeling insecure for some reason. For example, if you had a mother that was always nagging about you and your clothes, even though you liked them, she didn't like them, and then would be highly critical of you. And so then you grow up and somebody says to you, I really don't like that color on you. It brings back all of those old emotions that are buried in there. And then you get really upset that someone says something like that. So those are, this is one of the ways you can tell that you've got uh, an emotion that needs dealing with. And for me, for example, it was angry people, right? And that's because I grew up with a mother who got very angry a lot. And I just like didn't want to have to deal with it. But people get angry and you need to deal with anger from time to time, right? So, so that's one is that it came from something in your current lifetime. And that is usually the case. But it may have come with, you may have inherited a tendency such as, you know, someone says, you're just like your Uncle Joe or you're just like your Aunt Susie, right? When you deal with something, like you go bury yourself, you go hide yourself because you can't stand the feelings that you're having. And that may be that you inherited a, an emotion f directly from uh, a relative usually your parents, right? So you may have inherited that, and that is much less than experiencing it this lifetime. And the last way that you may have 
uh, an emotion is that it is your own emotional timeline. In other words, uh, that you've gone from lifetime to lifetime to lifetime with an emotion that you haven't dealt with properly. And that can happen is if the previous lifetime was way too short or that you just didn't have a chance to deal with it. And a lot of times we don't have the tools to deal with it. And sometimes you may not even realize why that thing developed. Like I have, when I've been working with different clients and they're overwhelmed with a particular emotion, like overwhelmed with sadness and they don't know why, or overwhelmed with anger against somebody and they don't know why, um, they will ask me, why do I have it? And <laughs> I just say, well, do you really need to know? Will it help you to know? And they go, oh, I'm just curious. Well, that curiosity, it's not necessary to know exactly why you got that emotion. It is necessary to let it go. And fortunately, the healing of it, right? First of all, the feeling of it and then the healing of it is what's more important than the origin of it because it may have happened in a previous lifetime. And if you keep going back to the event that it, that created the emotion, you keep triggering yourself over and over again. It's kind of like PTSD. PTSD in, in uh, the way I envision it is that you had an event in the past and you're here and there's something that's going on right now and it's like an elastic band has just tugged you back to that original uh, harmful event. So if you keep reminding yourself of it, like I just had, uh, I was listening to a courtroom drama and it brought me back to a situation in a courtroom that was extremely unpleasant. And that's kind of like what PTSD does. It brings you, it reminds you of it. So. I'll give you a couple of tips on how to release those emotions that are keeping you stuck. Okay, so let's, let's talk about how you can clear them. First of all, your emotions run along your meridians. They're kind of like notes in on a guitar or on a piano or even on a horn of some sort, right? They have a certain wavelength and they um, will resonate. And so what I mean by resonate, the low energy emotion will resonate. Like if you double the frequency, it'll still resonate on that same string. So when you pluck a string, for example, on a guitar, and you get a frequency analyzer, you will find out that you have the first, let's say it's at 150 Hertz, the first, uh, you know, when it vibrates, when the string vibrates as a whole, you get a half a wavelength from point to point on the guitar string. So if you double the frequency, meaning you have a basically um, half, double, half the wavelength, right? You have the wavelength, you double the frequency, then that means that it still resonates. So what you'll see is one, two, three, four, five times the fundamental frequency will vibrate on the same string at the same time. So you'll have all of these emotions running on your meridians, which have length and thickness, right? That's what you need to know the length. And for the string, it's the weight per inch or the weight per meter. And for a pipe, it could also be the, the length, right? So your fundamentals and your overtones will all vibrate on the same string. So basically on the same meridian. So the, the meridian that will vibrate with anger will also vibrate with joy. So what you want to do is release the low energy emotions and allow the high energy emotions to function on that particular meridian. So you can imagine because you have an opening here at the top, 
right? You can imagine light coming in through the top, washing all the low energy emotions out through the bottom, which is your root, right? So from your crown to your root, you can wash them all out. And one way to do that is to ground yourself. So I've talked about grounding before. So let's talk about what that means. That means that you draw a line of energy. So <laughs> everything is energy and we're all connected in some way, right? We're, if there's a conjugated system out there, um, they call it quantum entanglement, but I think our system is way more complicated than we actually know that there is this connection between everything and everybody. And uh, that's the way quantum physics equations actually work. You account for, <laughs> for every distance from zero to infinity in order to accurately account for all the energy in the universe. <laughs> so <laughs> that's just a little uh, nerdy aside. But anyhow, so you want to wash that through, but there's a quicker way to do it. Whenever you're feeling an unpleasant emotion, you can release it very quickly, right? So you're having a thought that triggers an emotion, right? It's just like this morning when I thought about uh, that courtroom and it reminded me of a situation where a, a judge drew a wrong conclusion and I had to interrupt him like four times to show him on the paperwork that that was not correct. And then he finally got it right, but it still felt unpleasant. And I still get kind of a queasy stomach thinking about it. So every time I have that thought of that particular judge and that particular moment, I just cut the cord, cut that cord to that thought. And imagine that thought dropping down deep into the earth. And that is really quick. Cut the thought, boom, away. That means you can move forward and it, you're basically cutting that rubber band that I mentioned, right? Here's the past event. And here's where you are right now. And there's this rubber band. What you're doing is you're cutting that rubber band so you don't get slingshotted back to those old feelings that you had at that time that keep triggering over and over again. And every time it triggers, it brings you back to that event. And you can also connect your nervous system to your adrenal glands, which are your fight or flight reaction, right? The reaction that's important because every time you have that triggering PTSD reaction where it slingshots you back into those old emotions, your adrenal glands are now in stress. They're releasing your stress hormones and it is slingshotting you back into that situation and your emotions just drop. The frequency drops really quickly. And the reason why I'm talking about your emotions at this point is that we all have emotions when it comes to money, when it comes to people and relationships, when it comes even to your physical health, right? Too many people aren't taking care of themselves. So what, what triggers them to do that? Like, why don't they care about themselves? right? Because the body, this, this body is the only thing we have in this life to keep us here, right? And the relationships, they're the number one reason for having vibrant health, for being wealthy, for, uh, you know, being happy. It's the number one cause for longevity, right? Great relationships, poor relationships, cut your life short. And the, the third is that wealth is the same as all of the rest, right? It is just energy. So um, the reason is your emotion, your emotional state, when you're in a high emotional state, you will be able to attract all that high emotional energy towards you. If you're in a low emotional state, you keep going back down into the doldrums and it will sink everything in your life with you. So this is the reason why I'm talking about it now is because it has all to, everything to do with your wealth. So your emotional state, your wealth, your relationships, your health, 
they're all one thing. And then the last thing is that you can uh, connect yourself to the earth with your grounding cord and uh, you can go outside even in the sunshine. It could even be raining if you want. Sunshine's a little better. And stand on the ground, uh, you know, dirt, sand, uh, rocks, anything. Stand on the ground on your bare feet and just imagine that the sun is bringing in all of that clean, high frequency energy. It's washing you through and you just imagine the dark, low energy emotions dropping out the bottom, right? So, and release, breathe in, release. So I showed you three ways to do this. One is to cut the cords to your, um, to any, thought that slingshots you back to that old emotional state, right? Number two is to um, imagine it being washed through from above, down, down a grounding cord. And the last is to get outside and get grounded and take a deep breath. And then as you breathe out, you're clearing out the dark emotions. So I hope that was helpful today. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking valuable time out of your day to listen in. If you found this message helpful, please help spread the word by giving the broadcast a thumbs up or a five star rating. Share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe to my channel with your notifications on. For further training on healing and growing your healing business using my three step system, go to www.highpaidhealers.com and I'll see you in the next video.